All right, guys, this is just a quick video. And the result I'm looking to get is this here, which is black chrome. I got a little stand that I made. This is just an Eastwood I don't know, dual voltage. Standard house oven. Valve covers I'm going to do. The other upper intake I'm going to do. Um, right now I have... Whoa, right now I have the lower in there right now. So what I'm doing with black chrome is you got two different kinds of chrome here. So I'm going to do the first with the super chrome. And then you do the second coat with the black chrome. Get everything cleaned up, put it in the oven first. I'll go through that step. And get it nice and hot, get all the oils off of it. And then when you do your first coat of chrome, which I'll go over on the next one, you're looking to get the actual part temperature up to about 400 degrees. Not just the oven temp. Everybody throws the oven temp in, runs it for 15 minutes, thinks that that's all well and good. But it is not. So, let me get this one out, I'll show you. And then I'll get the uh, get the velcro covers in. So what I like to use is I, I bought some of these extra uh, bottles. Um, so the dream is, is that, you know, I'll be able to put chrome, black chrome, stuff like that that I use. This right here is actually the black chrome. But it makes it a lot easier to, uh, to uh, you know, do easy change outs. Because once I do the bottle, I got regular chrome in here right now. But once you pull that off, you're just going to pull this off, blow it all out really good. And then you can do an easy swap out when you're swap, you know, going back and forth on colors. All right, so... I pulled it, pulled out the black chrome lower. It's cooling off right now. It's not bad. It's not exactly what I was looking for. But to be honest with you, this is not for my car. Uh, this is a buddy of mine who wants to try it on a one he's selling. But it's not bad. I mean, it's got pretty good shine to it. It's not like a black, like a like an anodized chrome, you know what I mean? Like, I think the chrome looks great. But the black chrome's alright. You can see the sheen on it. The gloss on it. Alright, so. I got these valve covers in. I had them in for a while. Uh, they are hot. So I'm going to pull them out. I'm gonna get them kind of set up. All right, so this is gonna be interesting to do with my phone, but <clears throat> you can see that you got a push button with this. Um, the push button actually activates it. You can see you get a little close. I'm gonna get real light coats on this. Just kind of barely coming out of the gun. Let's see if I can show you how to do that. Yes, yeah, so you can see that low air pressure. Just get it nice and dusted on there. Once you get everything coated. You got pretty even coats. You can go through, check it all out, get in there, look at it, so on and so forth. And then we're gonna throw this in the oven. All right, so I'm gonna check on the uh, on the valve covers. Um, this is why they say do not use oven in your house. I don't know if you can see that smoke coming off of there, but you're gonna see it when I open that. Boom. So obviously, when this stuff is baking. Um, it sends out some smoke. So believe me, this isn't like a show quality job that I'm doing on these um, these particular valve covers. But man, that that chrome from Prismatic is just like no other chrome. It looks like polished aluminum. As a matter of fact, I have a uh, I have a polished I got a polished valve cover right here, and you can see I'll put these side by side when I pull it out when I pull those out of the oven, but it's a pretty decent finish for being powder coat. All right, guys, so I pulled these out of the oven. Um, 
specs are that you're supposed to have this fully cured and then have it at about 90 degrees. Fully cured is bring it up to 400. Just from what I read, bring it up to 400 for about 15 minutes, the part. And then, uh, yeah, let them cool down to about 90. And then I can apply the, uh, the black chrome, which is the uh, second coat. So like I was saying, the, uh, the finish on this is pretty awesome. Let me see this. And I mean, for being powder coat versus, I mean, obviously nothing's gonna beat the polish, but, but for 12 bucks a pound, I'll take that all day. All right, I'll get back at it once I get a coating of uh, black chrome on it. All right, guys, so I pulled the upper out of the oven. Um, just getting it warm. Sorry I didn't film the valve covers. They were just, this is repetitive. Um, but what I'm going to do with this is do a couple coats of the chrome just to thicken it up a little bit, almost like a primer coat. So right now I got it out. I want to say 250, 260. Yeah, so when I start spraying this, dusting this, it's going to, uh, you'll see it start like flowing out. Like you'll start turning to liquid right away. So that's what I want though. So I'm going to get like a, a light dusting coat on this and I'm going to put it back in. Let it bake for a bit, pull it back out, do a nice heavy coat on it. And then uh, let it bake all the way. All right, I'm still going to turn the electricity on, but you're going to see, like, as I start spraying this, dusting it, whatever you want to call it, that this stuff's going to start liquiding out. I got the air pressure turned way down, but where it's nice hot spots, See that's starting to flow out already? So that's gonna make a nice, like, uh, I guess, primer coat. Again, man, I'm not an expert at this. I've only done this <laughs> probably six times, maybe. But this is just stuff from playing around and seeing what kind of lessons learned type situation. But let me get this done. I'll get her in and we'll check back when I pull it back out of the oven. So this second coat, I'm actually gonna do this second coat while it's hot. So then I can, uh, I can kind of watch it flow out here. Make sure that I get into every little crevice here. But realistically, you're just kind of dusting it. It's not like painting. Um, I'm kind of thinking about doing more videos of this stuff. Um, and yeah, it's not, it's not the same as paint, but I mean, everybody spray painted and done stuff like that. You kind of know what flow looks like and what too heavy is, but this is it. It's pretty nice and easy for doing it at home. You just need a cheap Craigslist oven or somebody throwing one out that still works. Get yourself an Eastwood gun, go under prismatic powders. Um, prismatic powders, their shipping is amazing. Like they show up next day almost. And uh, there are so many dang colors. It's, um, and I, it's I haven't had a bad product come from them yet. But yeah, let me get this. Uh, let me get this coated, and then I will. Uh, we'll check back in when I'm ready to do the black chrome. So that's it. This is the end result. I think what I'm gonna do is leave it in here to cool off instead of pulling it out and putting it on another rack. But that is it. That's the valve covers, intake, upper, lower. I will try to update. If this helps, go ahead and give it a shot, man. You really can't, I mean, obviously you can screw it up, but it's easier than you think. And the results are pretty decent versus going to pay probably cost me a couple hundred bucks to have this done and minus the gun and everything else i only got about a pound of powder coat into it so 15 bucks for this 
Well, I'm sorry, 30 bucks. 15 bucks for the chrome, 15 bucks for the black. But yeah, pretty good results. I'm gonna try to get you guys more videos. Got plenty to do. Got 93 Cobra, supercharged, doing a full shave on this. 92 Calypso, we did a full shave on that. 